Hey everybody, it's Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and uh, I have a pretty nice surprise for you. Uh, Chrome for Android was just announced today by Google. This is an actual code port of the desktop version, though it's not exactly the same. Uh, it's uh, also a beta, so there are a few bugs. But that does not mean we can't take a pretty thorough look at it. So you can see here, uh, it's Android 4.0 plus only, so you can't run this on Gingerbread or below. So that means it's limited to 1% of the available smartphones out there, and I'm sure it'll increase quickly. But uh, it's also announced uh, for a few countries, Canada included. You can see here the nice Chrome icon. Finally, 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 we have an official version. Uh, and let's dive right in. So you can see I've loaded up mobilesyrup.com, loads up the desktop page, and it scrolls beautifully, pinch to zoom, absolutely effortless. Um, they've got a few things here that are definitely notable. First of all, you can sign into your Gmail account and or your Google account and sync with your desktop version. So if I um, look over here, it should show up and give me all my tabs and my history from my desktop version. Unfortunately, it's not syncing my tabs right now, but it does. It has synced my history. Um, you've got this bar down here. You can see uh, your favorites. Uh, bookmarks and you can also see the saved pages here. They've actually c come out with a little bit of a tiled ice cream sandwich version of uh, style for the uh, for the tabs. So you can see it's also it uses your accelerometer to tilt so it's got this kind of card like um, UI aesthetic here. You can also remove a card if you don't want it. You can have unlimited cards, unlimited tabs um, and I'm going to load up, um, let's go to Google. You can see here it will fill in all of the, um, the previously viewed pages. Everything loads up really fast. You can even allow it to auto-log in for you, which I will show you in a photo because I've already allowed it. Uh, these little notifications will show up at the bottom here. You can allow it to track you uh, if you'd like. You can also get the Google Doodles. Uh, you can let's go through the settings so in addition to the other devices you can now have incognito tabs so if you want to go to those uh, shady sites that you don't want anything you don't want anything to show up in your history or your cache you can open up an incognito tab there you go and uh, right now it'll say does not collect any information it doesn't uh, track you and blah 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 so this is a good way to kind of uh, keep it tabs keep it under wraps you can also see it uh, shows you when you're using an incognito tab, the top tab at the uh, the top tab is blue as opposed to um, the other uh, ones which are uh, gray. So you can see you can actually go between them here like that. You got your uh, cards over here. So let's go back to mobilesyrup.com and uh, I will show you how quickly it loads up the page. This is over my Wi-Fi network. So you can let's go into the settings. You can actually set it to preload web pages on Wi-Fi or uh, set that over 3G as well if you want. You can tell it to save your passwords and autofill forms just like in the desktop version. You can clear your browser data. Your privacy settings, you can uh, suggest URLs. You can uh, navigate error, su er error suggestions. You can also send crash statistics because this is a beta. Uh, this has also been updated to take part in uh, Google's new privacy policy um, content settings as well, you can set it to auto-load your cookies, your JavaScript, block pop-ups, change the font size, and get certain settings for individual websites. Developer tools, that allows you to, to utilize the accelerometer for tilt scrolling as well as do USB web debugging in case you want to uh, plug this in and actually uh, see what's happening on your computer while you're loading up a web page. And down here you can see that it's using a very, very new version of WebKit. So that's why it's running so quickly. It's also got a Google Chrome version of 16. So that's uh, also the latest version of the stable um, Chrome desktop version, as far as I know. Okay, so let's go back out here. You can see I am going to load up the New York Times right there. I have my trusty Galaxy Note here, and we're going to do a quick comparison to see whether uh, one is faster than the other. So they're both hooked up to my five gigahertz um, Wi-Fi network and let's press them at the same time and see what happens. 
So it's loading up the mobile site first. You can see everything is really smooth. Uh, the before Ice Cream Sandwich, the stock Google browser was not hardware accelerated. I believe that the Chrome browser on Ice Cream Sandwich is by default uh, hardware accelerated. So the Samsung browser should not overwhelm it in speed anymore as it did with um, the Galaxy S2. Let's go down to the bottom and load up the full New York Times website and see what happens there. So definitely faster on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus is running a 1.2 GHz uh, TI OMAP processor, whereas the Note is running a 1.5 GHz uh, Snapdragon processor, and definitely at least 5 seconds faster on the Galaxy Nexus. If I do pinch to zoom, both are extremely smooth. Uh, the, they both have similar uh, resolutions, so the Galaxy Nexus is 1280 by 720 whereas the Galaxy Note is 1280 by 800 and uh, definitely shows much more information, much more detail than WVGA and QHD displays. Um, so this is a quick look at the Chrome for Android beta.